my last video to show you on how i do the arm as you can see i do my arm while it's open did already the slip stitch and i left in between here right here so it's all open as you can see what i'm going to do on the next stage i'm going to close it up I'm going to extend single crochet on this row and one more thing i need to mention because people like their arms made differently some people like it short sleeved long sleeved three quarters or a quarter however people want it so just go ahead and do it for short sleeved just do video number two do all those stitches and stop there and this will give you the distance from here up to here three quarters of an arm just do it from here to here then stop right here but once you stop right here finish up with the slip stitch okay if you needed the long sleeved and wide arm just go ahead and do everything like this all the way until where you want your arm to end and then finish it with a slip stitch but if you like it with smaller wrist just do it all the way up to here the way i'm doing it slip stitch just to mark where you're going to start but if you so wish you don't have to do it but i like to use the slip stitch then i narrow it down to decrease your stitches and you can decrease your stitches in two ways you can either use a bigger size needle and decrease the number of stitches or you can use a smaller gauge needle and make sure the tension is a little bit smaller or tighter so that's how you make the decrease only place i'm going to use the 5.5 needle is the last on the last slip stitch and the reason why i want to use this this needle is because i don't want my wrist opening to be too tight so what i'm gonna do uh, over here i'm gonna start and i have to make sure i pick up all my stitches right here i don't skip any they may look so thick but you have to pick up everything otherwise your work is not going to look neat so do that so as usual i leave the tails and put it back in there and make sure it's all uh, tight so it doesn't rip off and it's gonna be hard for me to pick up the stitches right here if it becomes a little bit harder again even you're using a smaller needle so you can be able to pick up your stitches So as you can see, I think on my work, it's going to be hard for me to decrease the number of stitches that I require. And I want to decrease in about four stitches still. I don't want my arm wide. I want it to be slightly smaller, very small and very tight on the wrist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the number of stitches. Uh, this, I assume these are still 50 there are 51 stitches and i added one as you can see right here at the beginning so this makes it 52 so i'm going to crochet 13 then i skip 13 stitches 13 i skip the 14th 13 i skip the 14th and how i came up with the number is 52 divided by 4 because i need to decrease with four stitches so it's 52 divided by 4 uh when you divide by 52 you divide by 4 you get 13 stitches so i will count 13 then i skip the 14th 13 skip the 14th so that's how i'm going to get my number and you can always do the same uh you get the total number of stitches that you have and divide by the number of stitches you want to decrease by so you can easily get how many stitches you need to crochet and then you skip so that's the easiest way to calculate it I don't know whether it's the easiest, but that's how I like to do it. So, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm going to skip this one. And actually, this the first row is the best place to de uh, decrease your stitches. 
because you know it's not gonna show you know it's gonna be hidden in between here but if you don't get a chance to decrease them here you can decrease them in the next row too so you can always do that so it doesn't matter And as I told you, the reason why I crochet in between here is to leave my decoration intact. So I don't want to mess them up. So that's why I have to do in between there. So looks very good and neat. All right, so let me see. I skipped one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 13 and then skip one here see skip one here one two three Okay, and then now I skip another one. Uh, I I guess you have to start skipping first and then you 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 skip first and then you do the 13 you skip 13 you skip that would be the easiest way I don't think so now you see I'm left with five so I need to do let me see how many I skipped one two three so now I can skip one so I'm going to skip this one and those are four stitches already now just do it again crochet up here extended single crochet and you have to crochet it in between here let me see if you guys can see I don't know my camera looks a little bit blurry today see by there right there See 
maybe right here not on the space don't do it on the space you see this is a space don't do it right there so you do it on the stitch right there so just do it all the way on the stitch all the way around and when you do it don't skip any stitches now just crochet all of them together i don't recommend skipping consecutive rows because it may make your work a little bit more tight than expected but it's okay to really recommend if you have to decrease decrease in every other row or decrease every other specific number of rows but don't skip on the next row skip it there you may find that you've skipped a lot of stitches than you anticipated to let's see let me go ahead crochet in all this here If you want you can do the whole of it or if you want you can leave some of them hanging and then you can um, sew it in between that's fine too so as you can see I did make the decrease and this is like my third row and it's kind of a little bit thick or wide I may need to decrease by another four stitches to see how it's gonna turn out so go ahead and do the same thing and then when you come back we'll see how yours looks like or just crochet all the way until the end of row I'm going to decrease four stitches okay. alright guys as you can see I decreased this by eight stitches already and it still looks like this I don't think it's still quite there yet so I need to decrease it again by four so in total I am going to decrease it by six stitches Let's see if that's gonna work let me just go ahead and decrease it by another four stitches back again and I'll show you how it's going to look so I decreased it by and now I'm satisfied in the way it looks so this is how small I wanted it and that's uh, the results of it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go like maybe a couple of rows right here but I'm gonna go again and at the last row which is the last part of it I'm going to do slip stitch see like that finish it up like that that's how the arm is gonna look this is how small I wanted it so, so by using this needle and decreasing the stitches I've achieved it I have to decrease by 16 stitches so that's how the cardigan looks and that will be the end of the cardigan for now until like I finish it because I'm going to clean up all these edges side. I'm going to clean it up all these edges it's not really done yet so I have to make sure everything looks so nice and presentable and I need to do good colors and finish with my other arm okay otherwise for now this is how the cardigan is done and I do appreciate you guys watching me please and subscribe to get the update thank you have a good night bye